Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to YouTube 101, the show where I show you how to run a more successful YouTube channel brought to you by Elgato Gaming. They want you to get the most out of their capture card both before and after you buy it. What I'm going to show you how to do today is set up your PlayStation 4 to record most any game. The PlayStation was under HDCP, high definition copyright protection until recently, but they've lifted it, and now you have the option to turn it off so you can use your Elgato to capture gameplay. First thing you want to do is move up to the settings. You just go up and the settings is the next to last option uh, to the right. Inside the settings tab you want to go all the way down to the bottom to the next to the last option again you'll there'll be one that's called system. So we're going to hit the system settings. Inside system what you need to do is uncheck the enable HDCP box. I can't show you unchecking it because then I couldn't record but make sure that it is unchecked. A little warning will pop up and let you know that it'll shut down your games and programs temporarily. That's just so it'll reboot the system. Once you've done that we're going to go to sound and screen. We're going to go to video output settings. I'm going to go through these real quick. Your resolution automatic should work fine, but just in case, let's do either 1080p or 720p. I prefer 1080. Color range, I usually leave on automatic, but if for some reason it's not working, please put it on limited. Same thing with this one right here. Put it on limited if automatic isn't working, and deep color output, I usually leave automatic, which is off in this case. Display area settings are pretty straightforward. This is just the safe areas. You can adjust it by TV, per the capture card, whatever you want. You can't hurt anything. You actually can go wrong in audio. Make sure that your primary audio Audio out is the HDMI out so that your uh, capture card will get audio. That's very important. Don't do the digital optical out just yet. That's something for a totally different tutorial. We're going to go over on headsets. Speaking of headsets and headphones, you want to make sure that it's, your headphone is not plugged into the controller because as I just plugged it in, for whatever reason, it'll output all audio to the controller and won't put any out through HDMI. If you do want to use them, be sure to just use the chat audio. And as far as the audio format goes, I greatly prefer the uh, Bitstream Dolby over everything else and that is how you set up your PlayStation to record. It's actually just that simple. If you followed with me you can do it in a minute. I just booted up Resogun. Previously this is not something you could record without an HDMI splitter or stripper or something that was completely illegal but now it's good to go. So in summary, what you need to do is go to settings, go down to system, inside system we're going to disable HDCP, everything should be good to go at this point, but just to be safe we're also going to check out our audio and video options, we're going to make sure they're all either on automatic or we're going to put it on 1080p, normal color ranges, and uh, no deep black levels, nothing particularly fancy. Keep it pretty straightforward so that we don't punish the capture card too much. Make sure that you do not have a headset plugged into the controller because it will only output audio through the the controller and not to the capture card unless you want muted gameplay in which ca in which case that's just fine and you should be good to go I'm gonna be doing other tutorials later on how to live stream on how to mix audio streams and several other things but the point of this video was just to let you know that the PlayStation 4 is now Elgato friendly no more HDCP it's almost plug-and-play very straightforward very easy to use and if you're a PlayStation gamer if you really like indie games which are like Resogun here pretty big on PlayStation it ought to be right up your alley I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe, or check out Elgato, which is linked down there in the description. Drifter out.